What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. Got a quick update on Gunner. I want y'all to take this with a grain of salt, okay? This is not definitive information. I don't have any documentation to support this. However, word on the street is that Gunner might very well be trying to leave YSL and do his own thing, okay? Now, this is being reported by DJ Wackademics, so just keep that in mind. However, they're saying that Gunna is keeping a close eye on Young Thug's Rico trial and seeing how this thing plays out before making any moves. The label side, a lot of people believe that Gunna is going to be seeking to leave YSL just because the relationship is fractured. Now he goes further to say what's probably going to happen is his contract gets negotiated where there's either a buyout or he's going to go to Atlantic Records. A lot of people think Atlantic Records might have Gunna soon whenever he's going to release it just because based on the term and strife between everybody in YSL and what's going on with Thug. It wouldn't be in his best interest to have YSL, the label, still working his project. Now, as much as I don't like to rely on DJ Wackademics for information, this does make a lot of sense because YSL is on trial for a RICO that would basically name them as a criminal enterprise in which Young Thug would be named the head of that criminal enterprise and everyone under it will basically be accessories to the crime or just associated with this criminal enterprise. Now, Gunna, as somebody who took his Alfred plea and got out and is looking for a fresh start on the streets, you wouldn't go through all that just to put a new album out released under this quote-unquote criminal enterprise. YSL, as a label, is in partnership with 300 Entertainment. 300 Entertainment uses Atlantic Records as their distribution which is all owned by the Universal Music Group. So this is all under the same umbrella. There could be a buyout or a negotiation of some sort as academics is claiming. This has happened to numerous different artists who have been signed to uh, different vanity labels, like artists that have been signed to G-Unit through Aftermath, which is an Interscope subsidiary. And then he ended up leaving G-Unit and got signed directly to Interscope or Geffen, which is also a subsidiary of Interscope. So we've seen that happen. We've also seen instances where artists were signed to Good Music. And Good Music is another vanity label that was distributed through Def Jam. So a lot of the artists that went through the Good Music uh, tutelage were also Def Jam artists. They were a joint venture. But as artists that continued to put music out and separated themselves from Kanye, they did direct deals with Def Jam. So again, this is the kind of thing that happens a lot of times when artists create labels. They're basically imprints that you're going to put on your labeling, on your packaging. Um, they handle a portion of the business, but they get the checks after the big companies get the money first and then they send it down through the pipeline. You understand what I'm saying? So it is not far fetched to think that Atlantic would want to get Gunna. That would add more value to their roster as a whole anyway, depending on how you view Gunna, right? Because things have become a little bit contentious for him out in the streets. We recently seen that people saw a Gunna doppelganger did this prank out in public at a mall or something where fans were harassing him, calling him a snitch. It was revealed that this was false. But since he got out, everyone has been uh, basically accusing him of snitching on Young Thug and YSL, which he and his lawyer are insisting never happened. The only information that they exchanged was to clarify his involvement in anything, clear his good name while not incriminating anyone else, supposedly. At the end of the day, he wants to start fresh. He wants to start a new chapter in his life, probably wants to continue to move forward as an artist. We haven't heard anything otherwise that would say he's ready to retire from music. So I think the best option would be for him to find infrastructure that he could go to to kind of not make a big stir because if he were to leave the Atlantic umbrella or anything like that, that would cause like a big you know, commotion. But if they could quietly buy his contract out, put his music out, and he could just kind of continue doing things the way that he has without there being a lot of chatter about it, I think that would be a huge win. Again, this is not official. There's no real documentation to support this theory. This is just something that DJ Academics put out. And at the time, it does seem like it adds up. We don't know what's going to happen to Young Thug. Keep an eye out on this, man. I will keep updating um, as things continue to evolve. If there is any contract signing or negotiation or buyout, I'll do another video. Make sure that y'all like and share this video. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. If this is your first time seeing any of my content on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates, and I will see y'all on the next one. All right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace.